Hey everyone, Scott here from Portable Ham Radio. I'm going to show you the correct settings you need to put on your IC7100 to get it to work in digital modes correctly and to be able to use the internal sound card with programs like WinLink and WJST. The first thing you need to do is go ahead and hit the set button right here. So you can go to the menus. The first thing you want to do is go into the connections menu. And as you can see right here, um, you need to go and make sure that this includes you CIBI, or e, and uh, you need to have these settings set. The baud rate to 1900, the address to 88H, and the rest of them set that way too. And this also helps it if you have the external tuner, which I have, so they can control it from the uh, button right down there, this tuner call button. So then go back to here, and then you need to go up the menu if you're not there. And you need to have make sure these settings are set right here the way they are. The data mode off is really important. That's the one that used the USB cable coming out of the back that uh, connects it to the computer that uh, lets it know that you're going to use the internal sound card of the ICOM 7100. And so you need to make sure it's the USB. If you notice, my USB mode level is down to 13%. And I re reduce it down to that because that's how you control the ACL level so that you're not overdriving uh, your output. And so it uh, has a nice clean signal on WSJT and other uh, programs. So you need to make sure you reduce that down appropriately. And you can check it on the front end of your uh, display when you're uh, transmitting. You can see where your ICA level. But those are the settings you need to use for the IC7100. Okay, so I'm, I've been trying out the, uh, you see my screen here? I've got uh, the ICOM 7100 set up. I'm using the internal sound card. You see already over here that I've made a couple contacts and stuff. And so just to prove it out, so I'm gonna do it. So we'll just go through a few more here and just see what we can get uh, that's happening here and uh, see if we can make some more contacts. We'll also go ahead and go out and uh, do a call here in a minute as we get ready to do we'll do some cqs see if we can get some people to uh respond back to us <clears throat> so yeah it works pretty good uh as you notice i'm out here in the higher bands up here just so that uh you know i'm not going to get any interference out there so that we can uh, make sure that uh, our signal gets through as we're doing this stuff so we'll be just calling some cq out there and just see how it goes Okay, um, let's see, so far no one's come back to us, so we'll uh, try it again here. We'll have to wait through the next cycle, see what happens here. Lots of pro lots of traffic out there, so we've got lots of people to be able to contact today. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, we got, okay, we'll go ahead and do another CQ. Looks like, uh, we'll see if we get somebody to answer us here. Sometimes I found trying to do this, uh, having people <clears throat> answer me doesn't work as well you know they might not want dn40 out here where i'm at here in utah so uh i'll go ahead and if it, this doesn't work then i'll go ahead and see if i can actually just make contact with someone myself find them over here in the uh, uh list of cqs so that we can uh see if it's working right there so we're, we're gonna wait for somebody that comes up that uh we can do pretty good here that we'll have a good chance of connecting with uh, let's see Wait for the next cycle. It's almost done, and then we'll be able to get her down. Okay, let's see what we got. All right, I think we got one there. Yep, November. Uh, what is that? November seven. Hmm. No. Yep. No. November golf seven. Victor. Yeah, that's the one we're doing up here in Idaho. DN 13s up in Idaho. So we'll go and see if he got a hold of us. And it looks like he's responding back. We're getting a nice good red signal up there. So I think we got a going to get a contact back. Yep, there it is. So we got him. So that's working. So now we can just go through this whole process we got right here. And uh let it go down. And uh it will make, he'll come back there as soon as we get the RR73 from him, then we'll know that we're all good, that we made a complete contact, and we can do this. But this is showing you how. Uh, the internal sound card for the ICOM 7100 will work with WSJT uh, and you can make it work with that interior that you got right there. 
with the internal sound card, so you don't need an extra sound card. So it'll make it really good for you to uh, not have to add that separate one. So look, and then we got the compact, the and we'll give him back a, a 73 back, and then we can complete the whole thing that we got there, and we'll have a good contact. So this is just showing you that it can work. And uh, that you can use your internal sound card. You don't have to have a, you know, a signal link or anything else. You can use the internal sound card from the ICOM 7100.